my name is Craig White. I am a early stage researcher on the Flora project. My background is in uh, renewable energy systems. I studied my masters in Loughborough in the UK, um, and I did a course basically that covered all renewable energies, but I wanted to focus on wind, especially in solar. I then moved in Wales into my old university, where I did my undergraduate, and I worked in solar systems design for um, a couple of really novel uh, buildings with integrated solar. So I did modeling for them, looking at energy generation, um, and I worked there for about one year. How I'm going to achieve the goals of the project is essentially like an integrated design of a floating offshore wind turbine because the majority of the time um, for the construction of your floating offshore wind turbine, the nacelle, the tower, the blades, everything, it's, it's all put together through procurement, but it's not actually like optimised to find the, the best relationship between all of those components. So my PhD is actually looking at What's the best combination of components at the design stage in order that you then reduce costs? So you think how, what, what components will go best together to A, reduce costs, improve the supply chain, but also improve energy capture as well. All of that put together allows you to minimize your cost of energy so that the amount of cost to produce one unit of energy, and that's how you compare um, different projects. So that's how, that's how we'll improve competitiveness a floating offshore wind is by achieving those goals. So it's an integrated design. Initially, I was in, uh, attracted to renewables because I worked for a like fossil fuel company working in gas and energy. And then I, 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 I moved into that job into energy efficiency. So I was helping uh, people reduce consumption in properties and, and for businesses. So then from that, that, that gave me an interest in renewables. I became like more environmentally conscious as a person. Which, which, meant me, which led me to pursue the career. I found the masters and I, I loved it. So my, my sort of interest is from then. It allows basically for a huge amount of training. I've managed to do lots of extra courses. Um, we've managed to go, uh, the mobility is fantastic, go to conferences, um, online events and, and actually on physical training events as well. So everything I've asked for in terms of to, to improve my, my technical skills, my, the modeling skills, etc. Everything that I've needed in terms of support and extra training and resources I've been able to get. It's also led some fantastic opportunities. We've had, I think now four or five um, training events held in different areas around Europe, which has been amazing to travel to. Um, so yeah, it's, there's just a, there's a really good support network and I've, I've been able to, to really develop in, my, in the course of this PhD so far. So I'd like to see myself, um, having worked in academia and, and, and for a few more years, I'd really like to work on active projects um, and that, that could be a possibility here with Wavec. So um, actually working on, on actual projects, um, not theoretical, but projects that either will be built or in the planning phase. Um, I really want to use my uh, skills in not only understanding the projects and where to locate them best, but also to understand um, the, the barriers that need to be overcome in order for these projects to get installed such as environmental and, and, and social um, barriers and economic barriers as well. So I would really like to work on actually installing floating offshore wind in areas uh, in Europe and beyond. And um, hopefully that will be, be a reality.